Hello everyone, my name is Yona and this is Postcards from Japan. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Mizuhiki flower. So the first step in making your flower is to take your Japanese cord and stretch it out a bit and make sure that it is malleable so you can use it for tying as when you first get it is very stiff and very hard to work with. Next you arrange the colors in the way you want them and make sure that the color you want on the outside is at the bottom. To start you make a simple loop and then you bend the top over the front to make this pretzel shape. For an exact picture you can check my blog where there's pictures which show this a bit better. You take your end, you go over the other end and then you alternatingly tie it around so on top of the bottom then through the inner shape over and, and then over again so that you have the base shape of your flower. It doesn't matter how loose this is or how big since you will tighten it later. Once you have this shape and you make sure that the ends, you have a bit of space on both ends, you flip it around and then you carefully take these two ends and you squeeze it to tighten the center section. Hold that section tight and then pull the strings on either end to tighten them, starting from the color which is in the middle and then moving your way out. In my case, white was the one furthest out, so I take the white cord at the end, as you can see now, and I tighten it as much as I can to make sure that the flower is nice and tight. Adjust it a bit to make sure that it is nicely symmetrical, and then flip it around again. Take the left side, in the case the one that is on top, and fold it through the middle to create the final two petals. But don't fold it all the way yet as you still need a gap to take the other side, the other end, and put the other end through here. Again make sure that the colors are always in the correct order so that in my case white is always on the outside. So take the second strap and put it in. And then the same way you did before, take the innermost cord and tighten it. And then take the second cord and tighten that as well. Finally, you can take the third cord to tighten that as well, of course, to complete your Mizuhiki flower. This flower is the base shape of most Mizuhiki and you can use it to decorate a variety of different things. Make sure that everything lines up properly. You can always adjust the petals, the outer ends, a bit afterwards, as you can see me doing here. And there you have it, the finished base shape, a finished Mizuhiki flower. Next, I will show you a few of the things you can do with them. So on the right we have the one I just finished and I just showed you how to make. I used some Japanese masking tape, some washi tape, just to tie them together. On the left one, the one I'm holding now, I used some regular tape and I straightened out the ends to create a bookmark. If you just want the flower, you can take it, you can cut off the ends at the back, as you can see here, and use a tiny bit of wire to secure it together and you can use these for a variety of different things. The final project is one that took a bit more time and is a bit more complicated but in taking three different flowers, so one with three strands at the top, five and then seven, and then putting them together and securing them with the bundles in the middle and then using again some wire and hot glue to put them into this keychain, you can create a variety of different beautiful flowers. I use this one on my backpack and I find it very pretty. Thank you so much for watching, I hope I'll see you next time. For full instructions on the history of Mizuhiki, you can go to yonashu.com to read up on that, the blog post is up now. Until next time, bye.